Today, I want to show you guys how to balance a top heavy bow. Now let's face it, this specific problem got a lot of attention from the manufacturers over the last few years. But there is still thousands of these types of bows that are still being used today, just like this monster accelerator of ours. So the top heaviness comes from bows that has a longer axle to axle and a slightly lower grip than usual. And especially when it's paired with a shorter brace size. You might experience the same feeling when you have a quiver full of heavy arrows or even a side with a huge head like on the Garmin side models. I will also do a video on how to balance your bow with a front and a side bar but for now back to the monster. Now if you have a mount like this and a stabilizer where you can take weights off and put weights on then you're already halfway there. I mounted the Vero back bar and the Dentro side bar like this with no front stabilizer. So what the hell is the purpose of this wacky stabilizer setup? Well, first off, I wanted to move more of the weight a bit backwards to prevent this bow from falling forward like an axe. So even now holding it, it's much better. Then secondly, I dropped the sidebar a bit to lower my center weight of gravity and I kicked out my sidebar to a point where it counters all the accessories and my quiver full of arrows. This little trick made the bow behave a thousand times better, especially with it not wanting to drop or fall forward that aggressively anymore. It also aims a bit better as the setup reduces the pin float and ultimately it helps me shoot tighter groupings. That's the whole point of this exercise, isn't it? I've seen a lot of people who've done the same with their Vertex and their Travis. Um, they probably can get away with a shorter stabilizer and a bit less weight as well as those bows are a bit better balanced. So, yeah. The cool thing is, Quattro Archery sells this weird combo as a package on their website, which means you'll be able to get it at a, a bit better price. I will link um, their package section in the description below so if you want to check it out and if you want to pull the same maneuver well there you have it and they're gonna make it easy for you to do it I will even opt for a 11 inch on the specific setup it would ultimately allow you to drop your center weight of gravity even further and you can run it also close to your bow to get the same effect uh, as the shorter bar to counter all your accessories on at the right hand side so there you have it thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel to catch my next video as i said i will also do another video on how to balance your bow with a front stabilizer as well especially a bit more applicable to the more modern day bows if i can call it that um, so yeah i'll see you in the next video cheers for now